Um, well, before we go any further, we should mention that um, we lost, actually, we lost two people in wrestling business this last week. Uh, Sodbuster Kenny J, the one of the most famous AWA jobbers, along with uh, Jake the Milkman Milliman, he passed away this past week. I never met him, never met Kenny J, and his heyday was mostly back in the 70s and early 80s before a lot of people even you know, had video, home video to see the AWA TVs or whatever. So he was primarily a Midwestern name, but, um, th- but he I just re- hated sod. He just couldn't, yes. couldn't deal with sod. <laughs> no, because he was, he, he, that was the deal. Like Jake Milliman, I think was a milkman and apparently they said he's sod buster is another word for farmer. But, uh, uh, my friend Dale Spear knew him and said that he was a great guy, Kenny J and he could actually wrestle if he wanted to, but he was one of those guys that, you know, spent his time putting people over on a part-time basis. But there was a, uh, a, a newspaper article that somebody retweeted this morning and shit, I can't remember who it was, but I retweeted it because he was mentioned. They were when Jesse Ventura was governor of Minnesota, they were having some kind of debate in the state legislature or whatever. And it, it was the headline was one of the lawmakers says it was Tim Pawlenty. I saw this. Oh, okay, did you say, OK, in, instead of getting the crusher of all bills, we got the Kenny Sodbuster J of all bills. <laughs> and in Ventura, said, well, hey, I seem to remember that. Sodbuster pin crusher one time. No, he didn't. He never, <laughs> never ever did that. But, but he would, that was where these guys got to be like kind of local cult figures. And they were remembered by people years and years later, as our, you know, previous topic says nobody does anymore. 